Need a baby afghan just like that? This only takes three hours. Let me show you how. In today's tutorial we're going to explore this afghan. This is called from the middle. This is kind of like a granny square but with a slight twist on the way that the stitches are. You will notice from the look of this it looks not really close to a granny square but it's very similar to it and because of that it makes it very easy to follow if you're following along. This afghan only took me three hours just one afternoon in order to create. I used three different colors and really played with the ideas. I used a Bernat baby blanket yarn just like so. I used only three balls and basically I could have got more out of these balls if I really wanted to but because it's such a thick yarn it's so soft it's just I wanted just not to make the afghan that exceptionally huge. Without any further delays I'm gonna give you the link and the more information of this video if you'd like to follow the written instructions and of course you can stay tuned now in order to be able to follow along because you will not believe how easy it is to make one of these. In today's tutorial we're going to be using the Bernat baby blanket. I used three balls. You can see that these are relatively big balls just like so and I just used three colors. You can find these in your retailer so of course you can always find it on yarnspirations.com at any time. We're also going to be using a size 10 millimeter size N crochet hook today in order to make this. So let's go over some of the specifics of the interior of this afghan. First of all I want to direct your attention to this pattern. It's a free pattern available. We have a link in the more information of this. You will notice that it says that two balls, three balls, two balls. You will notice that this is actually a different size ball than what you've seen on screen. This is a 100 gram. The ones that we're using are 300 gram which are three times the size. And so when you're looking at these instructions you're thinking to yourself whoa that's a lot of yarn. This is a different size yarn ball compared to what we're using in today's pattern. So from the middle afghan this is the middle we're gonna start here and you can see that we're gonna start off with a really unique center and then we're gonna build out. You will notice that this is actually two rounds. So one and two and then we're gonna start off and we're gonna go around again and then it's one which is what you see here and then two is the main. Now later on in this afghan I thought to myself what does it look like if you start changing the colors every other line. And so basically instead of being a solid color so this should be like all green I decided that I was just gonna make it so that it's it's all like random colors going out throughout and it really truly is random and then at the end I just kind of started coming back together and making them all solid once again and then I just chased the border around with the single crochet. So either way you can pl really play with your creativity. You have lots of yarn to work with and so it's just a matter of doing it. So let's start off this afghan. We're simply just gonna take one of the yarns. Look how thick it is. That's why it's a Bernat baby blanket. It's really really thick. Let's just start off with the slip knot. And we are just gonna put it in and look at the size of this hook. It's a size N 10 millimeter. We're going to chain four. So one, two, three and four and we're just gonna simply just make a ring. So we're just gonna insert the hook into the first chain like so and pull the yarn through that one and that one to leave you the big center piece just like so. And take this straggler and just kinda wrap it around and in the next round we're gonna trap that underneath so you never see it. To begin the first round we're simply just going to chain up one first and we're going to single crochet into the center of this ring. So insert the hook into the ring and pull through and then just single crochet and then we're going to chain three. So this is an actual corner that we're creating. So one, two and three. We're gonna come back into the center of the ring again and going to single crochet. Okay. And then we're gonna chain three again which will be another corner. So one, two and three. Coming back in to the center of the ring for a single crochet. And so you're creating all four corners by doing this. So let's do it again. So chaining three, one, two and three. Coming back into the center of the ring for a single crochet. So if we're looking at it now we have one corner, another corner, another corner. So we're missing one. So chaining three, one, two and three and we simply just join that one to the beginning single crochet that you started with to finalize round number one. So just slip stitch and you can see all four corners are now in with the nice interior circle ring. Let's start the next round. Now we cannot start where we are right now. We have to slip stitch to the next space that we're gonna run into over here and we're just gonna slip stitch. So just grab the yarn, pull through and through and now you're officially ready to go. So we're gonna chain up three first. So one, two, three, 
two and three and we're simply just going to put two more double crochets into that space. So one, so this is the big round. This is what grows really quickly. So we have two and now we're about to turn a corner. So we're gonna chain three. So one, two and three and we're gonna put three double crochets into that same corner space. Okay. It gets easier when the afghan gets bigger in order to hold things into position. So there you go. So just like so. So now what we're just gonna do is that we're just gonna uh, start and do the next corner. So we immediately, we're not chaining like we normally would in uh, granny squares. We're just simply just gonna come into the next space on the other side and basically we're just going to start again. So we're gonna create another corner. So it's three double crochet to start with. Just like so. And then chaining three, one, two, and three. And then coming into the same space so we can turn that corner. So, okay. So we're putting in three more double crochets in. Okay, so we've officially turned the corner there. So you can see one corner is here in the bottom, another corner is here. We simply just come to the next space that's available and we turn another corner because we're in the in the very center, right? So that's three double crochet again. And then we're gonna chain three. So one, two, and three. Coming into that same corner space we're gonna put three more double crochets. Very easy, right? So you don't really have to think much about it. And now we have the final corner. You can see that three sides are now done. We're gonna do the final corner. So just grab this next corner space, three double crochet again. Okay, and then chaining three, one, two, three, coming in, finishing that corner. Okay, and so there's gonna be three double crochets there as well. And now we're ready to come back. So we started off where we did and we have all corners. So now we're just gonna slip stitch to the top of the beginning, chaining three that we started with and you can fasten this off if you'd like to change colors. To fasten off this yarn, this is how I would do it. Simply just grab your scissors and trim your yarn and just pull the yarn through like so. And it's really thick yarn too so you just want to weave it in and out of a few of the stitches so in the next round we can actually totally catch this. In the first round right now I would actually physically turn the corner with the straggler. So go all the way to the point where you're going around the corner. So just put it into some chain work because as, as soon as you come into the next round everything gets trapped into these corner spaces anyway. And I would turn the corner at this point and then I would fasten off right about here. So you can just simply just trim it at this point. I'm gonna trim my original right in the beginning and you don't even see my loose ends at this point and we're gonna start on your next color to keep this pattern moving along. So let's begin our next round. We actually finished off right here in the very start that when we did that and if you want to keep this color continuous you actually have to slip stitch to the corner spot if you're going to do so. If you're not and you wanna join on new yarn which what I'm doing right now is that I'm just going to create uh, a slip knot just like so, insert it into the hook and I'm going to attach it to a corner space right here. So I'm just gonna come in right to a corner and pull through so it's attached. And what I wanna do is I wanna leave this straggler down on top so I can trap things into position. To start off with we want to chain one first and then we're going to single crochet to finalize. So that's the first half of the corner. So I'm just gonna move things over. So to complete this corner I need to chain three, one, two and three. You wanna do that every time you're on a corner and then single crochet again. 
So every corner of this afghan will always have one single crochet in, chaining three, one single crochet. Now we need to jump across to the top to the other side. So we're going to chain three first, one, two, and three. And all we just need to do is insert the hook to in between the groups of three. Right in. Insert the hook and single crochet. Okay, so one, two, three. We're now on another corner. So we're gonna start off with a single crochet first, then chain three, and then single crochet again. And that completes that corner. And now we're going to move along the next side. So one, two, three. Come into the groups of three. Doesn't matter which row you're on for these. Even if there's more distance between the corners, that always doesn't change. So it's one, two, and three. Coming into the next corner is just one single crochet. Chain three and one single crochet. Another side. So we have one, two, and three. Coming up and we just see where the split is right in the middle. We're just going to insert a single crochet there and then one, two, and three. Next corner. So it's single crochet. One, two, three. Single crochet. Then one, two, three. Whoops, I should actually get that third one in. And then come into the next space. And now we're about to finish up because the next corner already has your, your information there. It already has your stitches. So we're just going to chain three first. One, two, three. And then simply just slip stitch to the beginning single crochet to finalize off that round. And so now you've officially gone all the way around and this is a smaller layer and now the next layer is gonna play within the new gaps that you've created. So here's the next layer I'm about to show you. I'm gonna use the same color. So we need to slip stitch because right now we're just slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. So we need to slip stitch to a gap first to begin. So every round is kinda like this. It's the way that we're starting and it doesn't change. So one, two, and three. We're gonna create a chaining of three and then two double crochets. We wanna turn our corner. So we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. It's just like what you've already done with that green. And you're gonna come back into that same space and you're going to double crochet three more times. And that completes that corner. So now the only difference between the green one and this round is that there you're gonna work within the spaces here. So you immediately just jump over and just put in three double crochets in. So normally in uh, granny squares you would have chained one first. In this case you're not. You're just simply just filling it completely in. And these groups here are keeping the groups separate. See how that's keeping a space there? So it's easy to maintain this pattern. So we just simply just three double crochets again into the next gapping space that you can find. Okay, and now we have a corner space. So what are we gonna do there? Three double crochet. Okay. We need to turn the corner so we're gonna do a chain three. So one, two, and three and then coming back into that same space. So I think that you're pretty well gonna understand this pattern. Go all the way around and then I'm gonna show you how I did my single crochets in this pattern going all the way around. When you come all the way back around, you're just gonna be on your last gapping space. You've already done your corner so you're just gonna slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain just like so and then you're gonna fasten off. So if you're keeping your colors, you don't need to fasten off but if you're changing because it looks pretty cool if you do change colors, you're just gonna fasten off. Now this time, I'm not gonna go all the way around the corner. I'm just gonna weave it in just through a few. I really, my goal is is to get it in between this spacing over here. And then by doing so, when you go to wrap your single crochet around that space, it kinda locks it and holds it into position as you're, as you're working on it. And then it will just eventually kinda lock into itself. So you don't have to worry about it being pulled apart. So that's what I would do on that case. So I'm gonna show you how I did the single crochet all the way around. So I got rid of that. Is there any more loose ends? Yes, just right where I started. And so this is what it looks like. So look how much I've done already and it's already been a really quick tutorial. So look at the size of my hand. 
it goes that uh, that quick and that's why it's only three hours. So let's show you how to do single crochet around this. To do single crochet all you just need to do is that we need to join on our new yarn. I'm not gonna create a slip knot this time because it will make a, a visual difference. So I'm just gonna pull through a corner and I'm just going to grab the yarn that's going to the yarn ball only and pull through. And I'm going to chain, I'm going to single crochet then into that space. Okay, so basically here's your straggler down here. I wanna trap it underneath the remaining and I just wanna single crochet th two more times into the corner space. Okay, we had chaining a three there anyway. This is gonna balance. So on the top of each one of the double crochets, all you just need to do now is just single crochet around. Okay, very easy. Now you have a choice. And basically see how these two are coming together? I would just single crochet right over top to pull it together like this so. So I would not go in between what you have be already done before in the last round how we went in between. I wouldn't do that on this round. It keeps it more consistent on the edge. And so you just continue to go all the way around. I'm almost at the other corner. I wanna show you what to do there. Just like so. And when you get there, you're just gonna put in three single crochets. So one, two, and three. And then just turn it and just start in the next one and just go all the way around just like so. Really easy, right? Okay, when I come back, I'll fasten off and then this is tutorial done for today. When you get all the way back around, you've already done your three single crochets into the corner. Just slip stitch to the beginning single crochet just like so. Pull everything together. Let's uh, just trim off our yarn at this time. And I would pull it up like so and then just loop through and pull it tight. That just locks it onto itself and now it's just a formality of hiding in the loose ends. So I'm just gonna weave them in and out of the stitches for about a couple inches. And that would be how you do from the middle afghan. This is a really fun uh, afghan. It goes really quick. If you're a, pr a person that likes to see instant gratification and your project's done really quick, this is one of those projects where that's very possible on there. And if anybody surprises you with a baby shower, you got a project that you can do relatively easily and being able to hand it over in a gift. So this is how you do from the middle baby afghan and thanks so much on behalf of yarnspirations.com as well as the crochet crowd. We'll see you.